welcome class 9th students in our chemistry class and we are in our lecture number 5 we are continuing continuing water and today we are going to study about the applications of solubility what is the benefit of solubility curve then we have to study about the crystals formation of crystals then before that we will study henry's law effect of that is henry laws the effect of pressure and effect of temperature on solubility of gases earlier we have studied about effect of temperature on solubility of solids so solids we we know very well that the solubility of solid or the solid particles which are solids their solubility increases with increase in temperature now this today we will study about the solubility of gases in liquids and what effect does the pressure has if we increase or decrease the pressure and what effect does the temperature have if we increase or decrease the temperature so uh, in eighth class this all things you have studied and i have explained there very well also but still i will explain you one by one and then we have crystals formation of crystals crystallization water of crystallization how crystals can be formed in a laboratory or lab and then we have hydrous and hydrate and hydrous water of crystallization so these are very very small topics and you can deal it with yourself also but again i am telling that okay for a revision or recap i will be taking each and every topic so first of all let's start the application of solubility curve so now we have application or uses of solubility curves so it's given in your book you can study from there the drug preparation in preparing the drugs means solubility curve is being used at different temperatures which solid or which for example you can quote the example of a syrup or whatever the medicine the drugs are being prepared so whatever the solid or solute particles in the form of drugs in b is being and at what temperature it will be <coughs> and at what amount it will be there so it tells us about that so it helps in the preparation of drug then extraction of essential chemicals and then separation and purification of solute so these mean it tells about calculating estimating the which crystal will come first which crystal will come so or which solute will crystallize first or which crystallize which solid will crystallize afterwards so you can this you have to it can also it can come it's a uh, important one you have to cram it and the uses and the applications of solubility curves and the rest portion earlier in, before this session we have discussed a lot about it so no need to go into this, uh, discussing with each and every word now this is an important topic that is solubility of gases in water solubility of gases in water dear students we have studied about solubility of solids versus temperature now solubility of gases so you know that it is being we have to study two thing influence of pressure and influence of temperature influence of pressure on which when we increase or decrease the pressure what happens to the solubility of gases in water and when we increase or decrease the temperature what happens to the gases which are being soluble in water so what is that it this pressure when we change the pressure it is governed by henry's law means when we increase the pressure when we increase the pressure so what which pressure is to be taken suppose we have a liquid here we have a vessel we have a liquid so the pressure on the surface the pressure which is being exerted on the surface of that liquid that is being taken into consideration right so first i would like to tell as we have studied what happens when we increase the pressure 
when we increase the pressure the solubility of gases in water it will increase it increases you have seen in the case of cold drinks soft drinks that what happens when <coughs> the crown of that bottle that cold drink bottle is being removed when the crown is there fixed the, there is it is under pressure and when it is being removed it comes out and why because on increasing on in, on removing the crown of the bottle the pressure is decreased the pressure is decreased the solubility of gases decreases so along with gases want to come out and along with the gases some liquid also comes out therefore it gives a fizz when it when the crown of the bottle is open so you have studied that now how henry's law the so henry's law say that how henry's law plays its role actually at any given temperature means any given temperature mass of gas dissolved this is important by a fixed volume of liquid means fixed volume of liquid ka matlab ye hua ki liquid ka volume nahi change karo liquid ka volume same likho to ye jo relation hai wo kiske kiske beech mein hai mass of gas mass suppose m is the mass of gas to so m mass of gas is directly proportional to the pressure suppose p is the pressure so m is directly proportional to so m kya hai what is m m is the mass of gas and p is the pressure applied pressure applied on the surface of the liquid तो वॉट डज इट से कि हमने प्रेशर को बढ़ाया तो मास ऑफ द गैस जितना डिजोल्व हो रहा है वो बढ़ जाएगा हमने प्रेशर को डिक्रीज किया तो जो मास ऑफ द गैस है वो कम हो जाएगा तो प्रेशर पे डिपेंडेंट है वो गैस का डिजोल्यूशन ये मतलब हुआ फॉर एग्जांपल तो यहां पे अगर हम इसको एक फॉर्मूला के रूप में अगर हम इसको रखना चाहें तो एम अपॉन पी इज इक्वल टू के हुआ यहां से तो एम वन अपॉन पी वन इज इक्वल टू एम टू अपॉन पी टू तो इससे हम क्या निकाल सकते हैं अगर कोई छोटा न्यूमरिकल आया तो भी हम निकाल सकते हैं कि एम इज द मास ऑफ द गैस एट पी वन प्रेशर सॉरी एम वन इज द मास ऑफ गैस एट पी वन प्रेशर एंड एम टू इज द मास ऑफ गैस एट पी टू प्रेशर सो एम वन अपॉन पी वन इज इक्वल टू एम टू अपॉन पी टू वी गेट ए रिलेशन तो यहां पर इससे यह गवर्न होता है नाउ इंफ्लुएंस ऑफ टेम्परेचर इट इज ऑल्सो टू Gases are more soluble in cold water than in water at high temperature. Means when the temperature is low, gases are more soluble, and when the temperature is high, gases are not that much soluble. Means solubility decreases. So you have seen when we uh, why there is taste in water which we drink due to the dissolved gases we have studied. When we heat it, when we boil it, the the water becomes tasteless. Why? Because the dissolved gases escapes out why fishes die in sea water in deep sea water during summer season that was a question we have studied in eighth class because the oxygen escapes out so due to lack of want of oxygen as well as the temperature raises the time in want of lack of oxygen now you take the example of cold drink you have a normal bottle of cold drink at a normal temperature room temperature you open them there will be no fizzing out but you take a chilled cold drink chilled cold drink means the temperature is being lowered and you open it you will see that when the temperature is lower it fizzes out why because the solubility has increased right so gases are more soluble in cold water than in, in water at high temperature so this is about solubility of gases in water now one thing dear students if you uh, say that you what about the boiling points and freezing points so what happens to the boiling point and freezing point so you have studied that what is uh, and if you remember what is boiling point we have atmospheric pressure from above and when we heat when fluid heat the there is vapor pressure and the temperature at which this vapor pressure becomes equal to the atmospheric pressure that is the boiling point so when we increase the pressure 
when you increase the external pressure of the surface of the liquid the boiling point increases and that is the vice versa in case of freezing point फिर से समझा रहा हूं कि बॉइलिंग पॉइंट क्या होता है किसी भी लिक्विड है उसकी बॉइलिंग पॉइंट हमें पता करनी है मैं हिंदी में समझा दे रहा हूं लिक्विड बॉइलिंग पॉइंट पता करना है तो हम क्या करते हैं कि उसको हीट देते हैं हीट एनर्जी वी प्रोवाइड हीट एनर्जी तो हीट एनर्जी देंगे तो इसके वेपर्स बनेंगे और ये वेपर प्रेशर वेपर्स की वजह से एक वेपर प्रेशर क्रिएट होता है जो कि इस डायरेक्शन में जाता है ये वेपर सुड़ रहे हैं ऊपर की तरफ और ऊपर से इसके ऊपर एटमोस्फेयर प्रेशर होता है जिसको हम बोलते हैं एक्सटर्नल प्रेशर तो ये एक्सटर्नल प्रेशर इस वेपर को ऊपर निकलने नहीं देता एस्केप नहीं करने देता है तो जिस टेम्परेचर पर लेकिन धीरे धीरे हमने टेम्परेचर बढ़ाया तो ये वेपर प्रेशर बढ़ता जाता है तो जिस टेम्परेचर भी वेपर प्रेशर एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर के बराबर होता है वही टेम्परेचर को बॉलिंग पॉइंट कहते हैं ये बॉलिंग पॉइंट का कॉन्सेप्ट है तो आपकी बुक में दिया हुआ था कि बॉलिंग पॉइंट इंक्रीजेज ऑन इंक्रीजिंग द प्रेशर तो इसीलिए मैं ये समझा रहा हूँ तो वहां पे क्या है कि जब आप इस एक्सटर्नल प्रेशर को जो सरफेस ऑफ द लिक्विड पे लगाते हैं वो जब बढ़ाओगे तो ज्यादा वेपर प्रेशर ज्यादा टेम्परेचर देना पड़ेगा और वेपर प्रेशर और वेपर प्रेशर क्रिएट करना पड़ेगा इसीलिए जब प्रेशर इंक्रीज करता है तो बॉलिंग पॉइंट इंक्रीज कर जाता है सो दिस इज हालांकि दिस एक्सप्लेनेशन इज ऑफ इलेवेंथ क्लास बट इट वॉज गिवेन इन बुक लाइन वॉज गिवेन सो आई थॉट टू एक्सप्लेन इट यू so this is the reason now this was all about the solubility of gases effect now we will study about crystals crystallization hydrated at and hydrated water and water of crystallization so now we will study about crystals and the process of crystallization and water of crystallization so what are crystals how crystals are formed you know very much about it when we take a saturated solution a hot saturated solution allow it to cool so crystals are being formed so concept is very clear to you na ki why crystals are formed because in the property of dissolution when anything is dissolved what does it do it takes the intermolecular spaces of the solvent the solid particles take the intermolecular spaces now in a saturated solution all the intermolecular spaces are packed so no more there is no chance to add any solute in it all the intermolecular space of the solvent has been packed so it is in hot condition so it allows some more solute more solute and it becomes saturated now when we cool it when we cool it what happened that intermolecular space shrinks so this led to the formation of crystals crystals are formed and they come out in the form of crystals now crystals have sharp edges they take different different shapes octahedral and rhombic and so many shapes are given and they have sharp edges sharp surfaces and we have uh, crystals can be made in the laboratory we have natural crystals also diamonds and all these things we have studied so much about then we have crystalline form amorphous form so uh, <coughs> when crystals when crystalline form is formed so the uh, when they are heated when they are allowed to cool without being disturbed or when they are evaporated slowly so uh, crystals of fixed shape and size are formed but if there is a sudden uh, there is not a slow evaporation there is a fast evaporation so we have amorphous forms of crystals one reason is this and then we have other reasons also that depend on the nature of the uh, saturated solution being made which depend from the nature of the solute being added in the solvent to make that saturated solution so that is also the basis why some crystals are crystalline in nature some are amorphous in nature so basic thing is that crystal as formed when their saturated solution are allowed to cool and we have natural and artificial we can make it in the lab also so this process whole process is known as crystallization right and then we have one experiment given in your book that is seeding of crystals and all those things so let us you must go through it word by word it's very well given there and let us see it and we will also uh, i will also discuss it now seeding of crystals 
in this it's very simple that first of all a saturated solution is taken and by cooling it crystals are being made now we choose so many crystals are being formed we choose the best shape and size crystal and we hang it by the thread and we take that saturated solution on in which this crystal was being made and we leave it for a day or two what is the observation we observe that the crystals this, this crystal size has been increased so this process is known as seeding means on this the this is the seed you can say on on it the crystals are being deposited so the size of the crystal is being means induced crystallization a word is new induced seeding or induced crystallization this is called so this is nothing but this is all about seeding of crystals now let us discuss about water of crystallization what is the water of crystallization yes students the loosely attached water molecules during the process of crystallization when they are allowed to cool to form crystals there there is a inert chemical combination internal chemical combination we do not add water from outside during the process of crystallization there is the internal combination of water molecules with the crystals so that is water of crystallization 5h2o 6h2o 7h2o 10h2o so because they are in the first form of solution and we what happened we allow it to cool so say take some take, take along with them some water molecules so that is the water of crystallization let us study about effect of heat and hydrous and anhydrous so and hydrated and hydrated crystals so hydrated and anhydrated substances or hydrated or anhydrous substances so hydrous or hydrated substances are those which contains water molecules in loose chemical combination with them which we get through the process of crystallization and the crystals which are formed which through the process of crystallization does not contain any water molecule they are anhydrous so for example we have copper sulfate cuso4 5h2o so this is hydrated copper sulfate crystals and when we and this is simple any hydrous or hydrated substance of crystals can be made and hydrous by simply heating them above 100 degree celsius so they will become anhydrous they will lose they will lose their water of crystallization so this is given in a book it's a very simple one we have cuso4 5h2o now only important thing is that the arrangement of this it should be tilted one why it should be tilted well because here we have hydrated crystals now when we heat it water molecules they in the form of droplets they start condensing after forming vapors above 100 degree celsius they first they are in the form of vapor or steam and they start condensing though it should be in the tilted form it it cannot be like this because again the water will attach to it the crystals so a beaker is or whatever vessel is and they in the form of droplet they are connected now this crystallization or water of crystallization what it gives shape well defined shape and it gives colors also to the crystals so when we heat it now for example we have blue color it changes to white color and sometimes the crystalline form is also lost for example in this case see is it was in the form of crystalline form and now it has taken the amorphous form it has a definite geometry and shape hydrated one and it has no definite geometry or shape so this is about hydrated and and hydrated substances so these are very small topics crystal main thing is crystals and crystallization and the water of crystallization gives color and shape definite shape to the crystals without water of crystallization or without molecules of water crystals are also formed and we have amorphous all these we have discussed and this way we will discuss rest of the topics some topics are also left and then we have permanent and hard water and all those things so with this i am ending my lecture so that's all for today thank you very much dear students